All right, KMR Kyle Mohan Racing. Welcome back to the channel. We got some brap going on. We're wrapping up a porting project. We've been doing some race work, getting ready for everything. A lot of fun stuff happening. But we had some questions come in about how to use the KMR porting template and some other questions regarding exhaust port timing, which way to go, up or down, and how to set the templates up. So I thought this was a great topic. Figured we could cover it a little bit before these housings are no longer available. So nice little shine on those. Little port polish, looking good. All right, so let's get this camera down. So exhaust template setup. Um, if it's not a fixed position template, which some are, are that are out there where they're built to associate off a certain position on the rotor housing, those are cool. But when you start to get into the theory of exhaust porting, it's nice to be able to move the porting template up and down. So ours are centered off the sides because you don't want to adjust side to side, really. Uh, we have an optimal amount, optimal amount of side landing area. Um, so it's still supporting the apex seal under um, pretty excessive EGTs and pretty diverse uh, range of apex seals. Um, I wouldn't recommend floating an RX-8 apex seal over this, a steel one, but pretty much all 13B um, typical steel, ceramic, exotic seals go over this just fine. You get too thin on the sides, you start to let the apex seal droop with some decent ETT and it'll clean itself off. So another reason we don't go too square is also EGT support. Um, square ports, the squarer you go, um, it seems to go better with peak horsepower, but it also starts to affect longevity of seal, um, longevity of rotor housing wear as the apex seal wears faster. So we tried to optimize our design with all of this knowledge. Um, we want to keep velocity up. We want exhaust flow to work well. So we like to have a slightly rounded square design uh, that does squeeze the air at the top. So as the apex seal comes up, it's a nice abrupt opening, dumping exhaust volume, getting that exhaust charge moving, and then starts to squeeze it, not too abruptly, not shutting it off too quickly, but squeezes a little bit to keep that exhaust volume, exhaust flow up. Um, really good for street, race, um, performance use. Um, if if you get into the absolute extreme ends where longevity um, and reliability are less important, then you can square it up a little bit. But, uh, you know, if you're starting with this template, that's up to you to adjust it. This is a nice, reliable and very adjustable design that's centered off the sides. Now let's talk about either going up or down or just using it in its uh, maximum volume. Maximum volume is a great way to go. Uh, it's not too big. It's not too small. It's a great design based off a of year's experience with KMR, Mazda Trix, Racing Beat, all of our race motors. Works turbo and naturally aspirated. But depending on what you're trying to do, if it's a street car, you're not really going for too much of a change. Um, you're looking to keep that bottom end up a little bit. Then you can start to bring the top and the bottom down just slightly. Um, make your own marks on the side and then in the index off your dowel pins. And I'll show you that in a moment. Or if it's a turbo motor, um, not remaining perfectly centered, if you're, if you're looking for less uh, back pressure, you're trying to get that exhaust open early, get less overlap, um, you know, then I would recommend bringing the exhaust porting template down, but also leaving it kind of in its full size. If uh, you're running more of a bridge port, something with, again, with a very open exhaust, probably not street based, naturally aspirated, then bringing it up and actually leaning into that overlap a little bit, leaning into that brap, that scavenge, can also lend itself very well depending on the design. Most peripheral port, most bridge port naturally aspirated motors go up. Most street naturally aspirated and turbo motors stay fairly, fairly centralized. Most race turbo, aggressive turbo, excessive high horsepower motors will go down, or in extreme cases, you're going down and up. 
But that's the nice thing about the porting template with some simple indexing and a little bit of knowledge of what you're trying to do. Moving it down opens it earlier. Moving it up keeps it open longer. You start to understand the gains and the functionality. Exhaust porting, intake porting is a lot like cam design, only rotaries don't have cams. We just have our intake opening and closing and exhaust intake opening and closing to play with. All right, so when you want to index or set up a rotor housing for porting, like I said, side to side, you're pretty much centered off the rails. But when it comes to going up and down, use a fixed position on the rotor housing. So I like to use the dowel pins. It's a common trick in the rotary industry. Run a straight edge across. Give yourself a little index mark. I recommend doing, doing it on both sides. For video purposes, we're just putting one mark. You bring it up. If you've never done any porting before, you can start to make some marks on the side. This particular porting template is my own that I use in the shop, and I have a couple indexing marks already. You essentially bring your porting template in, center it up, index it off your marks, and that's how you keep consistency between two rotor housings in the initial layout of your port design. Um, and if you're trying to go down, you can have one index mark, or if you're trying to go up, you can have a different index mark, depending on the design, duration, volume, um, and flow characteristics you're trying to get out of your exhaust. Sometimes too big is not always better. I'm just reminding everybody. All right, so I hope that uh, brings in a little bit of knowledge. Um, gives everybody a little bit of understanding why traditional exhaust templates aren't built with a built-in index or built-in fixed position, because I do know there are some out there. Um, but And again, why KMR went with a universal template that's good for multiple exhaust porting designs. Because we like the BRAP. We like to help people out, uh, you know, cost-effective, and very much designed off of years of experience with dyno testing, tuning, track experience, and builds behind it from both Mazda Trix and KMR. So that's a wrap. Um, I hope that covered it enough. If there's any questions, comment down below. I'll put a link to the exhaust porting template below in the uh, description. And we've also got some new KMR gear. So check it out, I'll put that below. We've got a new t-shirt and other templates available. So support KMR, we're putting out more videos, Renesis update, hybrid update coming soon. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna wrap on out of here. All right, I forgot one thing, and I'm sure somebody will bring it up because everybody always brings stuff up in the comments. With your initial layout done, obviously you wanna check for true squareness. So dial pin your motor up and then use a square to come across to your ports and make sure they're, they're square. Um, you know, fingers are well and good coming side to side for your initial layout. That's why I called it initial layout. But as you do your final layout, scribe things in, square it up. All right. Now that's a wrap. Wrap it. So wrap it. Wrap it. Thanks for watching.